The lead investigator in the Zandile Gumede case has survived what is alleged to have been an assassination attempt. Gumede is due to appear in court on Thursday on fraud, racketeering and money laundering charges. ENCA's Spaman Lagoke is in Guamashu and joins us now. Spamanda, let's start uh, with uh, the latest. Do we know what the details are around uh, this uh, assassination attempt? So far, this is what we know, that the lead investigator was attacked, shot in Johannesburg in Albertine. He was leaving his house in the morning a few days ago. He was driving a state vehicle. He was approached by a gunman who was on foot, fired three shots. One of the bullets hit the lead investigator into the right shoulder, and he was injured. Another bullet hit his car, and there was another private car which was nearby. It got hit by a bullet. So far, what we know is that three shots were fired at him, one bullet hit him, he survived, he was taken to hospital, we are told that he is recovering there. Of course he works for the unit or a task team that is based at the head office of the Directorate for the Priority Crimes, which is investigating tender fraud in Guazul Natal, including a fraud and corruption case, which is uh, which Zandile Kumede faces as she will, she will be appearing in court tomorrow on Thursday. Those are the details we know so far is that he was shot in Johannesburg. He was leaving his house, driving a state vehicle. He survived that assassination attempt. Police are investigating a case or a charge of attempted murder as we speak. But we are told that at the moment the motive is not known as investigations are still underway. But it's confirmed that, yes, he's the lead investigator who works for that team which is investigating tender fraud in Guazulu Natal, including a Tegwini. Now, Kumede is at this hour attending a night vigil uh, ahead of a court appearance on Thursday. And that's exactly where you are. How is that vigil going? Right now, people are trickling in. We are outside the Debens Magistrate Court because we have moved from Guamashu. So now, then, Zandile Kumede was attending a prayer session. But I'll ask my colleague here, Sandile Makubela, just to give you a penning shot of what is happening around me. We are outside the Debens Magistrate's Court. That's where Zandile Kumede will be appearing in court tomorrow morning. And then her supporters are trickling in. Preparations are underway here. A is being uh, set up, a stage is being set up. We see buses dropping off people here. Her supporters have threatened to shut down Deben tomorrow when she appears in court. Elia Ona was able to interview her when she attended a prayer service in Wamashu G section. She told me that she is confident about appearing in court tomorrow, but she's concerned. She claims that up until now, she doesn't know what charges she's facing, of which is strange, because we understand that she's facing fraud and corruption charges but she says there's been no clarity on the nature of the charges that she is facing but she told me that she hasn't heard from the ANC about the party's decision to extend her leave of absence saying she will only wait for the ANC to decide her fate maintaining that she would like the party to speed up its investigations and its processes so that she can continue with her life she would know what her status is is because at the moment she claims she's in limbo. She doesn't know where she stands as a mayor of Eteguini and also as part of that regional task team which was put together by the ANC when the regional executive committee of Eteguini was disbanded. Spamanda Gorge joining us from outside the court where Eteguini mayor uh, Gumet will be appearing on Thursday.